What's up guys, it's Death Hunter here back with another episode of LSPDFR and today we have the snow on, finally, um, because where I live it's finally snowed, even though it's basically already halfway through December, it's finally snowed here, so we will have the snow on until the snow melts where I live or until I get bored with it, um, I mean, snow is fun, but it can get a little irritating. And uh, also, we're going to be patrolling with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office today. Uh, I did insert pets that do have, um, you know, like winter clothing on for the Sheriff's Department. I only wish I could do that with uh, regular civilians. That would be pretty cool, but uh, we can't. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to be patrolling around Grapeseed today, kind of the outskirts where we don't really patrol today. Uh, we got this 2014 Dodge Charger. Um, I'm so hyped to use this thing with this Sheriff's skin. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put ourselves 1041 today and uh, get out there and uh, see where we can get into today. Dispatch calling unit 28. We have a code 99 on Union Road. All right, so it looks like we have a call for officer needs assistance. We're going to go ahead and put our lights on and uh, respond to right 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 now. Two Bravo, eight to dispatch him to be uh, 10. 19 code 2 right now. Um, also, I did join a different clan for RP, so that's why I'm going to be mixing we up my have, uh, possible uh, 10 codes. It looks like he is going to be taken off, so we're going to be in an active pursuit. 2 Bravo 8 dispatch. It looks like we have one taken off from us. We're going to be in pursuit. He's kind of stopped at Union Road. Kind of moving it. There he goes. He's getting out of the, at Union Road. Got a gun out. Stop running! Blake County Sheriff's Office! Stop running! Broadway dispatch, he's gonna be foot pursued on the freeway. He's gonna get hit by a car. Oh! Stay down, stay down. You stay down. Crap. LSPD, don't make me shoot you. Broadway dispatch, shots fired, shots fired. You piece of crap. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. Hey, get on the ground, you're gonna get shot again. I'm gonna inform dispatch here real quick. Alright, dispatch. I just took a couple to the vest. I swear to god, I will shoot you again if you get up one more damn time. Stop twitching on me. Holy shit. That was scary. I've never had somebody turn around and just straight up shoot at me for, no for running on me. That was, that was pretty intense. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get him back to our vehicle and move our vehicle out of the way. 2 Bravo 8 dispatch, be advised, shots have been fired. Suspect has taken bullets. Uh, I took a clip to the vest. You want to go ahead and start EMS down here, dispatch will be much obliged. Attention all units, medical aid requested. Alright, so they're going to be sending out uh, fire and EMS. We're going to stuff him in the back here. Um, Shores, and turn off our siren there. A fire truck is off the side. Our fire truck's coming. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and grab another vest from the back of our truck, truck from the back of our car, uh, just because this one's pretty much spent. Right, there we go. And um. Yeah, this uh, deputy's just gonna be sitting here in the middle of the road. Good for him. Go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna fold him out and just. I don't think I can. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's really annoying. We're just gonna go and search the suspect's car right now. Actually, let's go ahead and get this road closed down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and search his car as well. Uh, while we're waiting for EMS to come check him out. Unit Queen Actually, we're busy right now, dispatch. Let's go ahead and see what we found. Nothing of interest, a burnt spoon, and a spare tire. Um, so we're going to get him for drug paraphernalia. Let's go ahead and get his vehicle towed on out of here. Right, it looks like EMS is almost here. Possibly just across the freeway there. And that plane's dive bombing. That's, uh, that's pretty weird. Our EMS is getting on scene now. Hopefully they can push through traffic. I did also add in a custom fire truck and a custom custom ambulance, finally. 
Oh god, would you just leave me? Let's go and cancel this call. Oh, you can't even cancel it. Alright, you can go now, you know, you can turn off your siren, we're all good here. Or not. I guess, uh, EMS is leaving, they took care of the patient, said he was alright to be transported. So let's go ahead and get in here and type up his arrest report. Keep it on pause so we don't have to hear that damn annoying siren. Also, they did update, um, Computer Plus. Um, I have not used it before, um... But it does look pretty. Arrest report history, track citation history. These look pretty dope. So, um, head database, Ed Cullen, and he is going to be, um, arrested at this location. Charges are going to be. No, not traffic. What am I doing? Violent. Um, homicide. Murder, attempted murder of a police officer. Go ahead and add that. Um, a nonviolent resisting arrest. We're going to go put on there. Uh, because he did run from us. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and save and close. Go ahead and exit out. And let's see if his arrest report history comes up. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and exit out. I want to see if I can log out and if it still be there. Because I know that with the last update, you'd exit out and disappear. Oh, it's still there. Cool. Oh, it looks like he also has... Um... Uh, traffic citations, too, in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like he's always driving a sheriff's vehicle. Oh, it's because he's sitting in our car right now. Okay. And extras, let's see. Hmm, that's weird. Go ahead and log on out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get him transported on out of here. Hopefully this dumbass next to us will do it. There we go, finally. Thank God he turned off his siren. He found out how to work his siren, finally. But he did just straight up head on with that truck, so, you know. He's a, he's a special deputy. He's a special hire. But uh, that's alright. Alright, so they're taking him. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the scroll lock. Actually, keep that on because I'm going to put ourselves back 10 8. Turn off the scroll lock. And then we'll pull on out and uh, get back out on patrol before that guy turns on his siren again. 49.6 westbound, New York, Adam Paul George, 1366, and I agree. It looks like we have a vehicle right there that's smoking and it looks like it's driving on the rim. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attempt to try to stop on him. Catch up with him here a little bit and uh, go ahead and blip him and pull him on over. Uh, ask him if they've been in a crash, see if they're intoxicated or what. Right here will be a good enough spot to do it. There we go. Go ahead and get him on over just a little bit more. Come on, come on over, over. Over into the dirt, there you go. Alright, so we got him on over. Let's go ahead and uh, get up behind him. Put on our scroll lock. And let's go ahead and run his plate real quick. To Bravo 8 dispatch, you can go get 1028. It's going to be 69X-Ray Robert David 053. 69X-Ray Robert David 053. No, 1099. Alright, it looks like it's going to be Liam Thompson is the registered owner of one citation and zero flags. And for dispatch, let's go ahead and get out with them and uh, see what's going on here. Put our hand on our holster there. Let's go ahead and talk with him. Hello there, sir. My name's uh, Deputy John with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. How are you doing today? Do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance on you today, sir? Get plump. Uh, Liam Thompson. So he is the registered owner. All right, sir. And uh, what happened to your vehicle? You're driving on rims and uh, front's all smashed up. It's getting a bit old. Um, yeah, I can see that. Um, hmm. All right, sir. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and run your information. Um, actually, have you had anything to drink previously? Uh, no, sir, I'm just asking because, like I said, I don't know if you were involved in an accident or what. 
But uh, I'm just going to go ahead back to my vehicle where any information you go and sit tight for me. All right? Thank you very much, sir. All right, we're all good, dispatch. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and run his information real quick. Uh, make sure everything's uh, going good with him. Tim Thompson, um, age 67, Buccaneer Way, valid, stop two times, no wants, no warrants. And let's go ahead and look up that vehicle database. Um, Mesa, valid, valid. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about these images. I think you have to... I don't think I installed the thing for the images. Um, I think you have to install something. I don't know. I didn't really read it, but I should have. Um, so let's go ahead and exit on out of there. Um, traffic citation histories. Let's see. Uh, Liam Thompson. Um, Mesa Color... Ocean Highway, fair to present, registration. Okay. Um, go ahead and exit on out of there. Log on out. And, um... Check up for two. Still all good. And, uh, let's go ahead and get out. And, uh, we're basically going to be towing his vehicle today because it's not a road where they could be driving Attention on Attention unit, roads. Edward, three, four. All right, sir, if I could go ahead and have you step out of the vehicle for me today. All right, sir, so what's going to be happening? Let's go ahead and see if I can Good stop you. Above. No, I can't. Uh, so I guess you're going to be walking out of here since I can't call it, stop you and call you a taxi. Um, we are going to be calling your, we are going to be towing uh, your vehicle today because I can't let you should be driving around here in the snowy roads located. with this vehicle. Um, so I'm just go ahead and call in the tow truck here. Broadway dispatch can go ahead and get a 1051 to my location. Yes. Alright, and it looks like we have a fleeing suspect on foot, so we're going to go ahead and take that and turn on our sirens here. Go ahead and flip around and assist those other officers. Alright guys, unfortunately with that uh, last call of uh, the guy running, um, I did crash my game. So we're we'll just going to go ahead back 10-8 and uh, see what else we've been doing today. Attention unit 2 8. Citizens reporting a DUI on Catfish View. Alright, so it seems that we have reports of an intoxicated driver. We're just going to go ahead and uh, respond there at code 2. Uh, to probably dispatch will be 1019 code 2 at this time. I'd like to see if I can go intercept that vehicle. Here's that that's the vehicle right there. We're going to go ahead and turn off our sirens. Uh, we're going to use it. Uh, reason for pullover. Is yeah, he's swerving. Um, also, he just cut that guy off in the snow, so reckless driving. And he's trying to pass on the double yellow as well. So, we have three reasons why I can go and pull him over now. So, yeah, we're gonna do it right now. Make most people almost crash into the ditch. Now, let's get up behind him. There we go. Same area as the last pullover. All right. Get on over a little bit here. There we go. That's good. And uh, let's go ahead and change our siren to the second one since it does have the ambers in the back to warn other drivers. And uh, let's go ahead and put on scroll lock, get the light plate. Two probably this guy's can go get 1028. It's be 46 Arid King 572 on a bison. White in color. Target license plate. Let's go ahead and set up here. Four, six, Edward, Edward, King, five, seven, two, a warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Alright, so it looks like Danio Aleki is a registered owner and they have a felony warrant. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to go ahead and call in for a felony stop. To probably dispatch can go get an additional unit to my location for code five stop. All right, so here we go. We have another unit arriving for our felony stop. It looks like we have two more units arriving for a felony stop. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, get on out with them. and uh, go ahead and tell them, get out of the vehicle. Show your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. He's coming back. Sorry, piece of crap. No. That's pretty cool. All right, sir, go ahead and get on the ground for us. That's fucked. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put him in cuffs now. 
That was pretty cool, that ba felony back, uh, uh, that felony stop, how he walks back and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, grab him. And uh, we'll go ahead and set him down on the side of the road here. Alright, sir, go ahead and take a, a shit. knee for me. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to go ahead. Oh, three other units arrived for that felony stop. That's a little too much. I think I'll change that in the I and I. Um, okay. If we weren't dealing with this guy, I'd be dealing with that guy. So I'm not. I don't remember how to get these guys to go away, so I guess they're just going to sit here with us. Alright, sir, I'm going to go ahead and search you. Do you have a poke, trick, me, stick, many weapons, narcotics on you today, sir? Right, and then we're gonna go ahead and search his vehicle. He has nothing interest, so we're gonna go ahead and get him up and over to the vehicle. All right, so go ahead and take a seat for me. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and search your vehicle. Is there anything in that I need to know about? Report, a criminal resisting arrest. On we're at 10 7 right now, dispatch. Let's go ahead and actually run his name, see if he has the run for registry with the warrant. Yes, it is. Yep, suspect is wanted. Um, so let's go ahead and search his vehicle now. I believe all we have to do, I, I don't know, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, yeah, you just gotta go up to him. Alright, I appreciate it, man. You're Thanks. Good to go. And uh, you're good to go, man. Go on! Alright, that's pretty cool. Just walk up to him. So we're gonna go ahead and search this vehicle. Uh, see if there's anything inside of it. around the tree stump, left we always do, and uh, it looks like this is a registered vehicle um, for a company or something, maybe it's his company, because uh, he's the registered owner, so that's probably what it is. Alright, so we found a meth pipe, four grams of cocaine, a kitchen knife, a banana, a uh, mosquito repellent, a pet collar, a handgun, possession of two a toy for sure. Alright, so since he does have a handgun, we're going to go ahead and see if he does have a uh, uh, permit to have that weapon. This is why I keep this one in there. Um, records check. And let's see. Firearm possession. It is invalid. His firearm possession is invalid, so uh, he's going to get that charge as well. Um, so it looks like he's facing a couple charges here. Go ahead and get the old tow truck for him. truck's coming up to pick up the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, type up his arrest report and uh, get him on out of here. So there we go. Alright, so it's PED database. Him. Oh, and it tells you wanted for various crimes, battery, and aggravated battery. Alrighty then. Um, arrest report. This location charges are going to be uh, non-violent, weren't for arrest, and save that. Um, and then possession of cocaine. No, I think it was crack, right? Yeah, crack. Um, crack cocaine. And add that. Okay. Uh, drug paraphernalia. Um, I think that's it for the drugs. Um, oh yeah, and then illegal possession of a firearm, so... <laughs> illegal possession of a firearm by a felon, because he has that felony one out there. We'll go ahead and add that. Um, we'll go ahead and save and close. Now, his arrests. There we go, four charges. Um, and I, I just think it's really cool how they did that, so you can view his history now. Uh, who was it? This guy? Attention unit. Queen. Six. Yeah, one. Can charge it. That's so cool. I love that now. I'm going to log on out then. And where do you think you're going, man? Get back in the car. You're not done. Get back here. Get in the car. You're still under arrest. I don't know what the hell you're trying to do. Is this really happening? Yeah, I don't even know how you got out. Alright, let's go ahead and get transport for him again before he tries to run off. Yeah. Clear from Henrietta. All right, and uh, here comes his transport. They're right on the bridge, and they're stopping for some reason because they can't figure out how to do life.
yeah, they, they can't figure out how to do life right now, so, if they don't get over here in, like, within, okay, now there you go, I was just gonna say, if they don't get over here in, like, a minute, I'm just gonna skip this, and, uh, until they finally figure out how the hell to get over here, they must be using a shitty GPS or something, but, uh, here they are now, so that's cool. Howdy, thanks for coming to pick him up, I appreciate it. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put ourselves back 10-8. Um, go ahead and take off the scroll lock and uh, we'll get back out on patrol. Attention unit 2-8. We have a traffic alert for an attack on a motor vehicle. Alright, so we have a want vehicle driving up here. Um, it looks like it's going um, on Joshua right now, southbound Joshua. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to catch up with them, pull them on over, and uh, go ahead and pull them out. Probably uh, do a code five stop on them again if they do stop. Go ahead and activate our sirens just to pass all these guys. Uh, looks like it's gonna be this vehicle here. Go ahead and put on a scroll lock and blow them. Get them over. Uh, yep, they're gonna be taking off on us. Um, Alright, 2 Bravo 8 Dispatch, I have one that is a uh, failure to yield at this time. Oh, and they just 1050 to roll over, 1050 roll over, right off of Joshua. Alright, they're jumping back over the hill, I guess they completely got rolled over back out of their tires. We're going to be westbound East Joshua, right in front of Sandy here, Dispatch. Go ahead and put on our scroll lock and uh, ask for additional units. Bravo 8 Dispatch, can you get an additional uh, units to my location? We are westbound East Joshua Road. Alright, let's go ahead and navigate these guys. Alright, we're get dispatch. Oops, wrong one. Oh, shots fired on our vehicle, shots fired on our vehicle. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Grab our AR here. Suspect shot, suspect shot, still up. Still up, it looks like we have another suspect in there. She just murdered her. Suspect down, suspect down. This one right here. Show us your hands, Blake County Sheriff's Office! It looks like she's down too. Alright, right now it looks like we have two down, two down. Let's go ahead and secure her weapon. Looks like she's gonna be down. Let's go ahead and get EMS out here. To Bravo 8 dispatch, I need an EMS. We have two down suspects. Attention all units. Medical go ahead and, uh, aid requested. Secure and the vehicle Sandy real quick. Shores. Officers report a civilian shot. We have it looks like there's injuries. nobody else in here. Dispatch units from uh, let's go ahead and get this road closed down. Three. Not gonna be available right now. And ambulance. Alright, fire trucks on three. scene already. I did take one to the vest, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, block off the road here. Get that blocked off right now. And uh, it looks like we have other deputies over there blocking off the road or not yet. Looks like they all left, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put down here and block off the road ourselves with some barriers. Just like that. All right, looks like we have fire and EMS on scene. Um, I did take a couple to the best. I didn't get hit, though. That was pretty surprising that they just got out, jumped out again, and fired on me. Um, looks like deceased, deceased, both of them. So uh, fire and EMS is going to be clearing the scene. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get the county coroner down here. To Bravo 8 Dispatch, can go ahead and notify the coroner that we have two uh, deceased on East Joshua Road. Um, basically right in front of the fire station. Alright, here comes the corner right now. Did I forget to update that to the corner van? Yeah, I did. I'll have to do that. It's for arrest manager, I believe. Ooh, what are you doing, dude? That's correct. Hey, this is a crime scene. You can't come through here. Turn off your car alarm. Go away. 
County Coroner is on scene taking care of them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and search their vehicle real quick. Oops, tackle the corner. There we go. Go ahead and search their vehicle right here. And uh, we just got the right side left county corner. It looks like they're all done here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And that's the last side. Nothing of interest to tourist map. A hatchet and get the lighter. Go ahead and get a tow truck out here. Two Bravo 8 dismiss. If you get 1051 my location, it would be uh, westbound East Johnson Road. Same location. As soon as the tow truck gets here, we're going to go ahead and move our vehicle. Take off those barriers, open up the road. Looks like so do need to open up the roads um, to get the tow truck in here. There we go. And uh, we'll go ahead and open nearby roads. And yeah, the fire truck's getting out here. We're not because the looks like the truck's off to lanes of traffic. There we go. That's how you do it. God. GTA, you can, you, it's just, it's just hard sometimes, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, they're playing chicken now. Looks like we did get some damage to the side of our vehicle as well. So, um, yeah, it uh, looks like it's going to be doing it for this patrol, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, next time, I think we're going to be down in the city, uh, since it's been a while since we did a city patrol. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and comment. And subscribe for more LS Pretty Far GTA 5 content. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.